What is crackalackin' everybody out there in the used PC parts universe? Today we've got a new series that has come about because I love turning trash into treasure. And what we've got here is a PC that came back to me four and a half years later where the original owners that I sold it to, they just said, look, I wanna upgrade my PC. This one is old now. It's pretty much full of dust and dirt. And when I get to Windows, it doesn't work properly. Things have slowed down a lot. And my initial reaction was, well, we can probably just reinstall Windows for you and give it a quick clean and it'll be good to go. And they just said, no, they were adamant that they wanted an upgrade. They wanted to get rid of the old PC. And to my delight, I was actually happy that this PC was still booting four and a half years later. But before we get onto the transformation, we are going to be using an ultrasonic cleaner here today. And I got this off AliExpress for what I consider a really good price because when I looked at ultrasonic cleaners in the past, they were very expensive, especially for a big one that you would need to clean PC parts rather than jewelry. So we're gonna be using this where I got it from AliExpress and it came within a week, which was shocking because usually AliExpress parts, they take over a month to get into the studio. But this one said it was shipped from Australia and to my surprise, it actually was shipped from Australia. Anyhow, that aside, let's start pulling apart this dirty PC and then making it brand new and possibly even refreshing it and giving it a new life with even more performance. Let's get this party started. Do you feel like this when you see this? Well, if so, you can get rid of that Windows activation message with today's video sponsor, SDD Keys, for as little as $12 USD. After you use that coupon, BFTYC, you can get activated today. Links in the description below. So here's the first fan right here, and this thing is absolutely filthy. And then more so, the graphics card has seen a lot of usage. You can look in there, and that thing has got some nasty amount of dust. Do you want to know what it is? But uh, there's the power supply, and that's still running pretty good. Like, whatever this power supply was, a HEC, it's... Not half bad, it did a pretty good job of holding up all this time. So what we're gonna do right now is we're first of all gonna put this power supply on the power supply tester to see if it still is good. And then after that, we're gonna give these just a quick clean down before we chuck them in the ultrasonic cleaner. And we're also going to clean down this case here. Unfortunately, the case won't fit in the ultrasonic cleaner, but it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. I've still gotta also remove a fan out of the front of the case too and clean that down and here's the motherboard too with the the passive cooler i was lucky to see that the passive cooler actually didn't collect any dust Wow, it still works! And the reason we can tell is that all the lights here on the left are lighting up, but also this PG up in the top right hand corner, that's not flashing, and it's still good. And pulling this CPU cooler off, I couldn't help but notice there was a i5-750. Now this is a four core, four threaded CPU, but since i7-860s are very cheap, we can also add another four threads onto this CPU with a simple upgrade. Now, of course, you can also use my favorite as well, a Xeon, if you've got one of them on hand, or if you just want to go on AliExpress and get one for dirt cheap. And for the RAM, we've got eight gigabytes of RAM, but we might always change it to 16 later on. Who knows?
question. Though the most important question with the ultrasonic cleaner is, does a motherboard fit? Oh, I think it does, a motherboard fits. What an absolute bargain this thing is. This is the ultrasonic cleaner, baby. But it's still got, of course, the most important part is, <laughs> it's still got to actually clean the products. clean that's coming out. Wow. Oh yeah, if you look in, you can see this. it's dirty. It's just coming out with the... They've given it a good coat, that's all. You wanna do this? One? Dry it off, yeah. And now we've finished up with the PC parts and what we've got right here is the parts have been cleaned but they've still got a little bit of uh, water in them. So what I'm going to do now is get my trusty data vac which just blows a heap of air on these parts. And I'm going to get rid of all the moisture and then what I'm going to do is spray some multi-purpose spray on the parts and then I'm going to leave it overnight and then we'll come back to it and we'll finish off the build in the morning. But overall, my first impressions of this ultrasonic cleaner, I'm blown away. This thing is very quick, very efficient, and we just use some tap water and put a bit of detergent in there. But I know some people will say, well, tap water, you probably shouldn't use it. It can rust out the parts. But this is one thing where I have had experience with, even though it's my first time using the ultrasonic cleaner, I know with uh, tap water on PC parts, it's fine as long as you get all the water out of the parts quickly and then you put in something like this water dispersant but another thing to be wary of too is if you're using tap water make sure that you don't put any live electronics even if it's like a mouse or something with low capacitance make sure you don't put any live electronics in water that's from the tap 
In that case, you'd wanna use the uh, deionized water, which isn't uh, conductive or capacitive for a certain period of time. But then after that, you, it will become conductive and capacitive as it gets those elements mixed into that water. But the bottom line with tap water is if you're using, especially on things like a power supply, make sure that power supply is completely drained, which we use the uh, power supply tester to not only test the power supply out, but also drain the power supply completely of any power. When we turn off the power supply at the unit itself, and then that the power supply tester will drain the rest of the power out of that unit. And then for the motherboard, we take out the battery and that makes sure there's no electronics going through that either. So we're at the next morning and I just got back from the dentist. So half my mouth is like numb and it's not moving properly. But what we're gonna do from here on is we're going to put these PC parts together and make the PC build as it originally once was. And then after that, we'll change over two of the parts and make it a more updated PC. So we'll give you guys the best of both worlds. And hopefully by the time I do that, my, my, I'll be able to speak normally again for you guys.
now we've finished the PC, it is up and running absolutely fine with no problems. Uh, so really sometimes all your PC needs is just a refresh with the install of Windows. And we've also run a Firestrike benchmark and I'll pull up the scores for you guys. The graphics is a little over two and a half thousand. The physics is just under 5,000. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in 16 gigabytes of RAM, switch that from eight gigabytes and then put in an i7, add four more threads and then change the GPU over to an RX 570 and we'll come back to this score and we'll see how we do. Oh, and who could forget some LED bling. And after all that cleaning and bringing this thing up and changing the parts now, we are left with a finished build that will play games absolutely fine at 1080p. And with those fire strike scores, we were seeing that we we're getting an uplift in performance of roughly five times on the graphics score. And then on the CPU score, we we're getting 40% more, which gave us roughly overall a three times more performance when it came to playing PC games in general. And that was all done on a very strict budget where we kept the price of all the upgrades under $200 Aussie dollars. With the RX 570, I got that for $120 locally here. The i7-870, I got that for $20. And then the 16 gigabytes of RAM, we picked that up on a deal as well for $30. And then three green LED fans for $5 each for a total of $15 Aussie dollars, which brings the total just under $200. Or if you're in the US, that brings it just under 150 USD, which means that we grabbed a PC that was otherwise trash. The person didn't want it anymore. They did, couldn't be bothered with it. They just wanted to dump it off and get another system that worked. But when I saw it came in, I just saw the potential and then cleaning this thing up and now upgrading it with some cheap upgrades has turned something that otherwise someone would just chuck in the rubbish. And we've now brought it up to a PC that is so fresh, so clean, and it'll play games pretty well. Though the star of the show in today's video was that ultrasonic cleaner for the price that we paid for this thing, I was blown away by how quick and efficient this thing really was. It was really just enlightening to see that something can be so good at cleaning and so quick and efficient where we used hot tap water and we put a bit of detergent in. And the good thing about that is that it's gonna save us money instead of filling up a 10 liter plus tub full of expensive chemicals. We just go with that tap water. Now, as I said before, if we do use tap water, we gotta make sure that we get every speck off of water as quickly as possible too, so things don't rust out. And then after that, I like to use the multi-purpose spray, which I pick up for around $3 a can. So it's dirt cheap to use, it's not gonna send you broke, and it's just gonna do a great job of bringing everything up to brand new and then some and protecting your PC parts in the long run. But that said, I've now got a PC that looks amazing, is really quiet, and more importantly, I'm gonna flip this thing and earn a bit of profit for my work done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of PC Ultra Clean. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. And also let us know in the comments section below, what do you think of the finished product bringing it up from trash to treasure. It's one thing that I personally love doing and it's one thing that I'm gonna keep doing. I heard you guys over the last few months, you want me to get back to used price performance and that's one thing I'm gonna do and I'm gonna try and do it as best as I can. And one more thing before I get on out of here and that is I've been talking with Greg Salazar. He does his own PC deep clean and with his series, I think viewers send in the PCs and he does his whole thing. But for me personally, I'm gonna be doing things differently. I'm gonna be finding the deal 
where the parts are in there and it has a lot of potential. And even in its current trash state, I feel like it's pretty good value for money. And then I'm gonna be bringing it up and then flipping it because that's one thing I really enjoy doing even before I was making YouTube videos. I was doing that with car parts and it's just one thing that I really love doing. So if you wanna send your PCs in, I would rather you just watch the video and try and learn how to do this yourself and hopefully you can start cleaning up PCs and restoring that trash rather than it getting permanently trashed and disposed of and making a new home for a gaming PC. So if you enjoyed this one, then make sure, actually, I'm gonna go back to the past Brian whose jaw was still numb and we'll let him do the outro for you guys. And if you like today's video guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because Round Tech SC, where it's meta AF, baby. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.